And I think you will agree, this is the place where joyful ghosts meet. Thank you all again, and safe travels, and hope to see you around the Jack Kerouac Festival and Poem Lowell. Thank you, Meg. Have another round for Meg, please. Okay, my next uh, local poet is Dan Bacon. And Dan has been participating in the World Celebrity Shout Out for about 10 years now for you. And Dan will be hosting a White as workshop tomorrow right here at the Worthen. And it's an open mic Saturday here at the Worthen. Um, again, Dan is another poet from the area. We don't have to go far to find these good writers and poets. All right, Dan. Thanks, yes, my name is Dan. Let me introduce myself. There was there once was a man named Dan who runs to the bar whenever he can. He quickens his pace to put beer in his face because drinking is part of his plan. This was a guy who had grit, but wit, not a drop, not one bit. When tipsy he'd share his thoughts he'd lay bare. And this always gets him in shit. Oh, the things he admitted one day in a wild and whimsical way. He confessed to the theft of some hearts and the death and a mischief that led him astray. Then one night he fancied the dance. He downed a few drinks by the chance. With laughter and cheer, he lost all his fear and decided to take off his pants. Too true, he had quite a few. With his drunk getting drunker, he finally blew. He danced on the table like a fool, oh so able. Now he's banned, with no chance to renew. He said, oh Penny, please take me back. I've wandered too far off the track. With love, I will mend. On you, I depend. I promise I'll keep on my slacks. She said no. She wanted no more. She told him to leave and she showed him the door. With his heart full of pain, he whispered her name. Now where you'll go now is unsure. In a garden where sorrows now sour, he would think of his loss for long hours. She let him come back to mend what was lack. If only he'd stop sending her flowers. Now you'll see Dan at the end of the bar sipping his drink like a quiet old star. Now so well behaved, no trouble he braves, just watching the crowds from afar. upon a midnight dreary as I pondered weak and weary over many of curious and forgotten lore hallucinating Arkansas and late light tragedies among the scholars of war while I nodded nearly napping suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently tapping tapping at my chamber door out of the moon the crack of doom bone grindings and migraines of China under bleak uh, new works, the furnished room. Uh, distinctly, I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. The echoes of the soul rocking and rolling in the midnight solitude, realms of love, dreams of life, a nightmare. Dream bodies turned to stone. Deep into the darkness, peering long, I stood there wondering. Dreaming dreams I never dared dream before. No mortal ever dreamed before. Mouth racked and battered bleak of brain. Winter midnight streetlight boxcars. Boxcars, boxcars, boxcars. I can't read because I can't see. I, I, I can read, but I can't see. 
Other side. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Mouth racked and battered bleak of brain. Winter midnight street lights, small town rain. Boxcars, boxcars, boxcars. Shocks of hospitals and jails and wars. Merely this and nothing more. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. Soon again I heard a tapping louder than before. Starving, hysterical, naked, looking for an angry fix. Only this and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, one with many a flirt and flutter in there stepped the stately raven of the saintly days of yore, who perched and sat and nothing more, who poverty and tatters and hollow-eyed and high were drained of all brilliance, drear light of the zoo, not safe in the animal soup. Let my heart be still a moment and this mystery explore, quoth the raven, nevermore. So this is why I hate to read, because I, I shouldn't read, I should recite. Reciting is better, because I'm blind. And memory is not so good either, but it's better than the sight. So this is my hit, I'd like they say, it's a hit in my house. It's called The Accountant. She's gotta be joking. She's a whole smoke show and I'm old and broken. She's a bottle of potion that smells like ocean and lotion and she's open to the notion of vocal locomotion. She's got great lines and she's easy on the eyes but she's gotta be hustling or playing me for something cause she's out of my league and the tennis she's anything. She's all about my business and in it to win it before the nitrous has even risen in my Guinness. Her hand on my thigh is riotous. She's delicious and vicious, it makes me even more suspicious. She's ferocious and I'm twitchy like prey in the gaze of a lioness. Every bone in my body screaming, quiet this. It's ridiculous and kind of mean of this Venus to try to make me believe there could ever be something meaningful between us. It's ludicrous and kind of cruel and I'm just assuming her pursuing is foolishness. But she buys her own drinks and she has her own clock and she blew her girlfriends off just to sit here and talk. And for some reason, she chose me for her scheming, and though intriguing, our meeting has the every feeling of me being defeated and eaten in the Garden of Eden. She's relentless, and I'm helpless to her progressive aggression. She's a guillotine, and I dread a beheading. I'm distressed, I need a friend, I'm in need of defending. But I'm a mouse in the mouth of a viper. And I think to myself, there's no more reason to fight her. But she's not a snake at all, she's a spider. I look over, she's gone, I can't find her. She must have given up. She must have wished we never met. She must have had enough and must have said forget it, but spun a nice little web of regret in my head before she left, and I fell in it. I should have bet she would go. I blew it again. I do what I know. Thank you. Okay, so here's what you need to do. You need to tip your servers, tip your servers, don't be cheap Kerouacos, okay, tip your servers, and also thank your LCK volunteers, okay, cheers, cheers, have a good night.